Earlier today, I received a call from Minister Selim Kiza informing me that uh, they had uh, been informed by the National Institute of Communicable Diseases that South Africa had now recorded its first uh, coronavirus uh, infected person who had been uh, traveling from Italy and uh, had gone to see a doctor and uh, the doctor immediately uh, realized that we could be dealing with something serious and sent uh, him in for the various tests and all that. So it's now been confirmed that uh, we have a, a person within our country who has tested positive to coronavirus. I uh, would like to applaud the capability of the NICD for having acted very quickly and swiftly and also having informed the minister who immediately informed me. I informed him that he should go ahead and uh, make the news public in Parliament so that South Africans are immediately informed so as to avoid fake news spreading around the country and also to have a level of transparency about uh, this uh, virus that is spreading around the world. We're not the only country that is affected. Many more countries have been affected and it looks like it will keep on spreading to a number of uh, countries in the world. The key question uh, is whether we are ready and prepared. And just this morning, I was quite impressed with the level of uh, preparedness in terms of being able to identify what it is and uh, immediately having the person isolated. So we, we are gearing up more and more as a country and uh, the report I've received from the Minister of Health has uh, demonstrated to me that we, we can be more alert and we can go to higher levels of being alert. And obviously we did this in terms of uh, revealing this immediately so that there should not be panic. South Africans should not panic. Uh, we should be alert uh, so that if people either uh, show signs of uh, some of the symptoms, they should immediately be able to get medical assistance and all our medical care people, whether in the private sector and in the public sector, uh, being uh, informed that uh, their alertness in identifying this disease must be at a much higher level. So we should, as South Africans, uh, be rest assured that government will demonstrate its uh, seriousness in terms of dealing with this matter and we will continue to be transparent uh, and at the same time we want South Africans not to panic because uh, we, we will continue uh, to ensure that uh, we handle this matter with the necessary care and capability uh, that uh, it, it requires. And what we would ordinarily do with a situation like this to be immediately in touch with the World Health Organization. And the minister uh, has done that. We are in constant contact with the World Health Organization and uh, we also have South Africans who are working at the WHO who keep us up to date about uh, this virus. So the help that we would need to get would in the first instance as a country come from the World Health Organization. But at the same time, there are a number of other countries that have already gone through certain processes in terms of either being alert, containing it, and uh, China is one of those. They have been able, having had the bulk of the people who, are, uh, who have been affected, they've been able to show ability to contain it, and uh, we wish them luck uh, in carrying on with that. So we will also be in touch with a number of other experts around the world, and we are just at the beginning of this but we have uh, been in constant contact with the World Health Organization. So, and we will keep informing South Africans very openly and transparently about the number of steps that we will be taking. 
because this is an, it will turn out to be a national crisis and we do need to keep our people informed and it will have huge impacts on a number of things it will have huge impacts on travel it will have a negative impact also on our economy which as we all know uh, is, 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 is in a very, very precarious situation. It, will, it is already showing signs of having a negative impact on our tourism as well. Uh, internal travel, uh, people are already making other arrangements and people uh, I met this morning were saying that you know, flights to South Africa were already showing signs of uh, more seats being available uh, when ordinarily they, they didn't show that. So the effect is going to be big and South Africans need to be prepared. Uh, but more prepared for ourselves, being alert. And there are quite a number of things I'm told we have to do. Uh, wash our hands continuously and uh, make sure that uh, we, 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 we keep on doing things like that. So thank you very much. Thank you.